Hi, Pathfinders and leaders. This is Pastor Gene from the NAD Pathfinder Bible Experience Program. Many of you are very familiar with PBE and need no introduction to the program, but others, perhaps new directors, have only heard about Pathfinder Bible Experience, but have not yet participated with your clubs or have not yet learned the value of PBE for your Pathfinders. Today, I would like to give you an overview of Pathfinder Bible Experience, or PBE as we call it. PBE is a team-based Bible challenge program where the members are tested over portions of scripture that they have learned. Pathfinders from around the world are participating in the PBE program and are finding it is a great way for the Pathfinders to develop their spiritual life in addition to the other great activities of Pathfindering. A great source of help in the Pathfinder Bible Experience program is the How-To Guide for Pathfinder Bible Experience. This is the PBE manual. This manual can be found online at the clubministries.org website on the Pathfinders and Pathfinder Bible Experience page. These are the translations that we use for the Pathfinder Bible Experience program. In English, we use the New King James Version, Thomas Nelson Publisher. This is the Pathfinder Bible like you're familiar with. In Spanish, it is the Reina Valera 1995. In French, Version Louis Segon en Francais. We also will have six questions each test from the SDA Bible Commentary Introduction for the designated study books. Now let's get started. Very early in the Pathfinder year, the club should identify who is interested and willing to put in the hard work to be a part of this program. In fact, many clubs begin the preparation for the next PBE testing program soon after the division test that normally takes place in April. An eligible team member is any Pathfinder that has been inducted into the club up to and including age 18. However, if a Pathfinder turns 19 after January 1 of the testing year, they are no longer eligible as a PBE team member. A team is made up of six regular members and if desired an alternate for situations that may present themselves such as a team member getting sick at the time of the testing or for some reason has to drop out. The Bible study books should be divided up by chapters and verses and are memorized by the Pathfinders. Don't rely upon just being familiar with the chapters but make sure they are memorized. What a great way to learn the scriptures and make them a part of our life. Even Jesus himself, during his ministry, quoted from the Old Testament. The scriptures are locked into the minds of our young people, and they learn to apply what they have memorized in life situations. After study has begun, give the Pathfinders informal tests. Make it parents or staff against the kids. Elders versus the Pathfinders is always a challenge for both groups. Help the Pathfinders to be accountable for their assigned chapters and their verses. In future videos, we will talk to club directors and leaders about their specific practices and to help their kids memorize and to learn. Remember, this is a marathon. It's not a sprint. Make the learning fun for the kids. Do not use your Pathfinder club time for the PBE team. The Pathfinder program is much more than PBE, and many of your club members may not be on the PBE team. They need to be learning also, but in the other Pathfinder skills and activities. Try to schedule PBE team practice, perhaps on Sabbath afternoon, Friday nights, or some other mutual time. Food is always a hit with kids and adults. Incorporate skits, devotionals, Pathfinder-led sermons, and programs to reinforce the scripture that they are memorizing. There are four levels of testing, and the official testing dates will sometimes vary by conference, and you should check with your conference in Union Pathfinder calendar to find out the dates for sure. The suggested dates are the following. 
For the area district level testing, it's the first Sabbath in February. For conference testing, it's the first Sabbath in March. For the union testing, it's the last Sabbath in March. And for division testing, it's the third Sabbath in April. The normal method for moving on from one level to the next is to make 90% of the highest score at the location you are testing at up to the division test. Please remember that this program is called a testing and it's not a competition because everyone who participates is a winner. Everyone has the opportunity to make first place and we hope that you do. It has happened. All right, folks. That's the end of this video, and we'll see you next week on PBE Video. This is Pastor Gene.